Elizabeth Barrett Browning and Robert Browning were two individuals who defied the odds and found each other against all expectations. Their remarkable love story unfolded in the 19th century, amidst a backdrop of societal norms and Victorian-era elegance. Elizabeth, a brilliant wordsmith and poet, captured the hearts of many with her verse, yet remained isolated due to her delicate health and overprotective family. Robert, a talented poet himself, had been captivated by Elizabeth's work and became determined to meet her in person. Their eventual meeting would ignite a flame that would burn bright, challenging the conventions of the time. Elizabeth Barrett Browning was born in 1806 in Durham, England, into a family of wealth and prestige. From an early age, Elizabeth exhibited a passion for literature, expressing herself through verse that revealed profound emotional depth. However, her life was overshadowed by ill health, causing her to withdraw from society and become a recluse. Elizabeth sought solace in her writing pouring her thoughts and dreams onto the page. Her poetic talent shone brightly amidst the darkness of her confinement. Robert Browning, on the other hand, was born in 1812 in London, England. His childhood was marked by an intellectual upbringing and a deep appreciation for the arts. Robert's own talent for poetry began to blossom in his youth and he quickly gained recognition for his lyrical works. His fascination with Elizabeth's writings grew over time, and he formed a deep admiration for her unique style and intellectual prowess. This admiration paved the way for their first encounter, as Robert took the brave step of reaching out to Elizabeth in a letter. Elizabeth, receiving countless letters from intrigued readers, was hesitant to respond. Her initial caution stemmed from a fear of opening herself up to disappointment and heartache. However, Robert's words touched her soul in a way the others had not. She recognized in him a tindred spirit, someone who saw beyond her physical limitations and embraced the essence of her being. Elizabeth finally summoned the courage to reply, and thus began a remarkable correspondence that would deepen their connection with each passing letter. As their letters flowed back and forth, Elizabeth and Robert's bond grew stronger. Through their written words, they bared their souls, sharing their deepest fears, dreams, and aspirations. Their intellectual connection was undeniable, and they found solace in the knowledge that someone truly understood them. Their love flourished on the pages they exchanged, poetry becoming the language that intertwined their hearts. Despite their growing love, Elizabeth and Robert faced numerous obstacles in their quest for a life together. Elizabeth's father held a tight grip on her affairs, disapproving of any suitors who dared to approach his fragile daughter. However, Elizabeth's love for Robert knew no bounds, and she was willing to risk her family's wrath to be with him. In secret, they continued their correspondence, culminating in the decision to elope in 1846. Their clandestine marriage marked a turning point in both of their lives. Elizabeth, now free from the grasp of her overbearing father, blossomed both creatively and emotionally. Robert's unwavering support allowed her to achieve incredible heights in her writing, and her reputation as a poet soared. Together, they relocated to Italy, a place that held a special significance for them and would become their sanctuary. In their newfound Italian home, Elizabeth and Robert enjoyed a serene and idyllic life. Surrounded by the beauty of nature and inspired by their love, they continued to write poetry that would leave a lasting impact on the literary world. Elizabeth's collection of sonnets from the Portuguese, inspired by her intimate relationship with Robert, 
became one of her most celebrated works. Meanwhile, Robert's dramatic monologues and innovative storytelling captivated audiences far and wide. Their love story, however, was not without its share of heartache. Elizabeth's health deteriorated over the years, but Robert remained a steadfast companion by her side. Despite the challenges they faced, their love remained unwavering. Elizabeth Barrett Browning passed away in 1861, leaving behind a legacy of poetic brilliance and a love story that defied all odds. Robert Browning continued to write and publish his works, paying homage to Elizabeth's enduring influence on his life and art. He dedicated much of his later poetry to her, ensuring that their love story would forever be immortalized in the annals of literature. Elizabeth Barrett Browning and Robert Browning created a love story for the ages. Through their words, they transcended societal expectations and barriers to find solace and unconditional love in each other's arms. Their unique bond, immortalized in their poetry, serves as a reminder that true love knows no bounds and can conquer even the greatest challenges.